Hello viewers, welcome back. So this is part 10 of our series of session on cost center features of Tally Prime. In this session, we will understand a couple of more examples related to different business segment so that the businesses can use this cost center features based on their requirement. Let us go to Tally and explore these other options of leveraging the cost category features in Tally Prime. In this video, we shall learn how to use cost center class for multiple category allocation. Let us take an example of NGO where they undertake programs for the benefit of citizens. Money spent to achieve the intended result will be carried out. There are donors who sponsor these programs and each program needs to be identified to a location. If you notice here, there are three components, namely project is one component, donors the second component and the location where the projects are going to be undertaken is the third component. Now they need to track the amount of money spent for each of these projects for a given location. Also, they need to track the donor. Tracking donor is for two reasons. A, to provide report of the activities and amount spent for a location's program to the donor. B, to reconcile the amount received as donation to actual amount spent. How do we track this requirement? Let us now view a flow chart. We have this category called projects and under that the names of the projects are in this case we see projects as the cost category. Project A is the cost center under the projects category and project B. Second we have donor cost category and under donor cost category there are two examples that has been given here is donor 1, donor 2 or you can say donor A, donor B. The third component is the location. So locations is going to be another cost category and the location where actually the program or project is being carried out will be captured as location. In this case we are seeing location A, location B. Let us take an example of a transaction. So this is the transaction on 10th of April 23. The organization has spent towards project A an amount of rupees 25,000 towards the say sanitation charges or sanitation expenses. Now this expenses needs to be allocated to the three categories that is to which project, to which location and who is the donor. This amount of 25,000 will now needs to be allocated to project A under projects category, then donor A under donors category and location A under locations category. Generally this combination is fixed. Hence with the help of Tally's cost center class we can automate the allocation to the respective cost centers so that the user will not have to manually capture this or maybe miss out any of the allocation. Recall important point which I mentioned in the previous video. Under manual allocation compulsorily one category and cost center under that category tally will ensure that it is allocated. Without allocating you can't move forward. Rest of the categories can be skipped without allocation and tally will not validate. This is where cost center class will be extremely useful. Let us now move on to tally and walk through this use case. I am sure you are aware how to enable cost category creation of cost categories and creation of cost centers under those categories. If you are viewing this video for the first time, you can view this video for understanding the creation of cost category and how a cost center is created under those categories. I have already created these categories. Let us view this in the chart of account. You will notice here the three categories that have been created are donors, location and projects which is what we are seeing here as discussed. Now under each of the category, under donor category you are seeing two donors which is donor A, B. Under locations you are seeing location A, B and under projects there are two projects. The cost center class also has been created by me. Let us view the detail of cost center class. So from here all you need to do is 
just press go to and then select alter master you will not see cost center class so you have to come here and click on show more and press enter and now you will view this cost center class select cost center class and press enter this is the name of the class that we want to create for auto allocation the next field is the category name so if you notice here we see these three categories so here i have selected projects category and under projects category the projects which are created under this category are listed project a is selected now when you come here 100% of the value will be allocated to project A of the category of projects. The next is the donor category is selected. The donor cost center is selected. Again, 100% is allocated. The third is the locations category where location A is selected and 100% is allocated. This way you can create multiple costs class in one single interface. So if you notice here, this is the second cost center class that has been created for auto allocation. Now the name of this cost center class is project B allocation. Similarly, project category, project B, 100% is allocated. Under donors category, donor B, 100% is allocated. And under locations category, location B, 100% is allocated. So you can save this control a now let us pass the transaction as per the use case example we saw we are in the payment voucher this is the transaction that you are seeing below which we need to now pass by selecting the cost center class for auto allocation you will notice this cost center class field in case if you are not getting this remember your f12 configuration click on f12 configuration and make sure select cost center class is set to yes the next option show list of cost center is set as no let us leave it as it is you can view my earlier video on cost center to understand the use of enabling this option and its benefit save this control a now when you press spacebar you will get the list of all cost center class that we have created so let us select project a allocation enter and here the money spent is towards sanitation expenses the amount is 25000 enter hdfc bank the payment is made through hdfc bank enter you will notice that there is no cost allocation manually done tally will now pick up the configuration that is provided under this class of project a allocation and then accordingly it will allocate to the ratio that has been specified in this case for each of the cost center we said 100 percent of the amount needs to be allocated to three different cost centers of three different cost categories we will save this voucher and now let's view the cost category report you will observe here under donor category donor a 25,000 is allocated under location category for location A, 25 is allocated and for project category, project A, 25 is allocated as per the configuration that we had specified in the cost center class. This way, Tally will ensure that all three categories cost centers are allocated without missing. I hope these two simple examples would give you an idea or insight of how you can leverage the cost center and cost category features of Tally. In the next session, we will understand how we can use cost category allocation for non-revenue accounts also. So thank you all once again for staying till the end. See you all in the next session. Thank you very much.